What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, <clears throat> today, it's going to be a little bit of a different video, but still going along with all the sliding videos. So, pretty much <clears throat> today, I'm going to be showing you guys, I think, the cheapest way to slide. So, um, this one um, might be um, a little hard to find, but it's definitely a cheap way to slide. But either way, what you are going to need is some steel toe with the boots but i you can buy like 20 20 steel toe off of uh, walmart other uh, like their online shop so definitely recommend doing that and my hair is just standing up like crazy okay but the whole other thing like you don't have to make the gloves if you want elbow pads it comes with elbow pads and it comes with knee pads so this is it this is the protec junior pack so they also have just the knee pads and elbow pads uh, for adults. They also have the knee pad, elbow pad, and wrist guards for adults. For adults, it's like 54 bucks. This was only 35 As you can see, the knee pad has some use in it. Because I actually just uh, got them today and slid on them today. But I'm probably going to be posting this tomorrow. So I got this yesterday, I should say. Sorry about the screaming in the background. I'm outside. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. But pretty much what it involves or what it comes with for, for um, you know, just like the standard thing. Let me go ahead and pull this out. It's a three, it's a three set pack. So it comes with the knee pads, the wrist guards, and then the elbow pads. So you could actually use the wrist guards as um, gloves. So pretty much you could slide on this plastic piece. But you want to make sure it's plastic and not, what's it called, um, metal. Because there's some that are metal and that will stop you dead flat. So do not use that. Uh, and I, if you're wondering, and if you're like, wait, but don't you use like metal fingertips on your gloves? I do, but this is a thicker and this is like a, it'd be a big bump so it would stop easier. I'm also going to be testing out all the products in this because i have not used these to slide or the elbow pads so i'm going to be doing that in the video too so stay tuned to that <coughs> for that i mean not to that so you know it's just like the standard wrist guard you know put it around your wrist always start with the middle one because then you can get the balance and stuff from all the others or from that middle one and you can just tighten all the others and it should look like that. But you got to keep in mind that you cannot slide on your fingertips or that would hurt like bad. Uh, so I'm going to be pretty much sliding fingerless for you guys today. Uh, I've never done this in my life, so don't judge me. But the one downside about this is you can barely move your wrist. As you can see, that's my all my motion I have. And I mean, I can probably grab some things like, let's see. Like I can grab a weight and stuff, but not a whole whole lot so definitely something you want to keep in mind and then the next thing you are gonna want to have for sliding or that comes in the pack when sliding or just for Protex in general the elbow pads also I'm gonna be leaving a link to this set in the d description I actually went to a skate shop and bought these. Uh, uh, these were actually the last pair, or I would have got a uh, large, because these are actually a medium, but they were, the, like I said, the last pair, so I couldn't really ask for the large. But that's the elbow pad, guys, as you can see. It's just like a standard elbow pad. And if you, I'll try to leave a link to a few uh, a sliding video that I saw where they actually use elbow pads um, But a few people were using them and I thought hey, you know what that's actually a pretty smart idea So I decided you know what? I might slide with them Because I mean my costume is black anyways, so it's not like you would see it uh, But pretty much after that it's the standard knee pads and Sorry guys um, I'm just wrapping this up super fast it's just like the standard knee pads. So, like I said, I actually just got these today. So I slid on the knee pads today, but nothing else, as you can see. 
And I was gonna order recaps, but I don't know if they'll be here in time. As you can see, it's already like damaging the bottom of the, the hard shell. No one me knocking on it to make sure it's hard. Uh, I don't know why I did that face. Um, but, you know, this one doesn't have as much wear and tear. This one has a little bit more because, oh, I'm sorry, wait. Did I say that right? Yeah, this one is more scratched up and stuff because this one actually goes on my right leg, which is the leg I drop down on the most. So every once in a while, I would recommend swapping out the pads so you wouldn't get a giant hole in one pad super fast and not be able to slide on that one as much because then the pat or the holes will be evened out more so one time you slide slide on that one knee pad and with that one so let's say i had this one and this was the leg on this side and then the next time i would slide this same knee pad would go on this side of my leg and then this side and then this side and this side for every single time i slide i would swap the leg but yeah guys so let's go ahead and throw all of this on including the shoes and let's try sliding. So, something else. I'm going to be comparing this to normal sliding gear. So, I'm going to wear these knee pads. Um, and then, for the first test, I'm going to be using Protex. The wrist guard Protex. And then, uh, for the second test, I'm going to be using my slider gloves. And we'll see which one is better. So, let me, like I said, go ahead and throw all of this on. Then I'll get back to you guys. Guys, as you can see, I have everything on. So let's go ahead and try to slide with the uh, Protec wrist guards on instead of the normal gloves. Okay, guys. I'm going to do a couple more slides and see how it feels. So here's what I think. I think if you're wanting to still be able to use your fingers well and like trick or treat and like pull bags open and stuff, these are the way to go because conduit connectors very limit you to your finger use. And you can still put them together and it make kind of a loud noise or you can like go. But you know, you just gotta know that you get to slide like that. You can't slide like this. Or that will happen and you'll like hurt your fingers really bad. Okay guys, now let's try the other gloves. And I'll tell you how those feel. Once again, these are just like... Sorry about that. Once again, these are just like standard slider gloves. I also think I'm going to take off the elbow pads. Let's go ahead and put on these normal slider gloves. One second, guys, I have to find the other slider glove. Okay, guys, so there. Okay, guys, so as you can see, these make a lot louder noise, right? Versus the two wrist guards, whenever you hit those together, it makes this noise. Or. So, so far, I think that the uh, metal gloves work better. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, pretty much my sister and I went to uh, Quickly's, or Quickly, to get some tea, some boba tea. So now that I'm back, these are the, like what I was saying before, these are the, these are the next gloves. Uh, these are the actual slider gloves, like what they use at Not Scary Farm. Let's go ahead and try them. Let me set you guys up. 
Once again, I'm sliding in the garage. Something I do want to say is that this, you can like, just like bang them against the washers or door hinges or whatever you have. And with my first pair of gloves, I actually ended up doing this. You can actually attach sparks. Let me see, and then it will make them spark. But this one, um, you know, I could do the same thing like right up there on the palm. But with, um, you know, the, the standard wrist guards, you can't do that. So let's go ahead and do a few more slides, guys. A few more. No one be feeling it sliding. Uh, one second, guys. Sorry. I'm just, oh my gosh, it fell again. Oh my gosh. I decided I'm actually just gonna end up leaving that in because that was kind of funny. Oh, okay, guys. Oh my gosh, again. One thing that's a lot easier to do when like filming and stuff, you definitely recommend the hand guards, not the gloves, because you cannot do anything with these. Like, literally, you can barely do a thing with them, with the conduit connectors. So, I mean, if you're just going out to scare people, recommend the uh, conduit connector gloves. If you are just, like, trick-or-treating and stuff, recommend the, um, you know, just like the standard wrist guards. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna do maybe a few duck walks. If you don't know what that is, you're about to find out. in these new pads. These ones are a little tiny. The lighting sucks in my garage. Okay guys, but I think I am going to end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below uh, if you want more sliding videos. And it looks like I'm wearing eyeliner right now because... <sighs> I gotta do my Halloween makeup. Yeah, guys. Don't forget to stay random. Peace out.